I'm just letting in additional participants. Okay, I think I have in everyone now. Okay, welcome and Happy New Year. Uh, we are picking up where we left off, weekly Sunday meditations. I think there's some uh, holidays that I have published in our schedule. Um, and uh, we will also offer this in six week segments. With a certificate of completion, if you're interested in that, uh, please just write me at calgarymindfulness at gmail.com for the details on how to register and how to participate. Otherwise, you're simply welcome to attend and uh, meditate without this extra requirement. Every culture through history has a tradition of contemplative practice as a way of managing our mind, body, and spirit connection and connecting to a wisdom that is greater than ourselves. In this course, we'll be exploring basic mindfulness practices. Uh, this is something that I teach in the school systems and have been doing that for about eight years now. Uh, working with um, caregivers as well, nurses, um, doctors, uh, high, uh, staff under high stress, uh, teachers, and also for um, high performance professionals, uh, musicians, uh, athletes, so do you need this only if you're one of those people? No, we can all benefit um, from adding mindfulness meditation to our mental self-care and wellness. If you're a meditator or if you're interested in this work, um, uh, we, we come to this from the understanding that we have our greatest source of help from inside. And understanding what's happening inside allows us to either make change, ask for help, change our attitude. So um, uh, some people don't want to work that way, and that's just fine. Use what works for you and, um, and leave what doesn't. Uh, we're going to begin by getting into what I call the mindful body. And that's a posture that is strong and straight, but relaxed. The images we'll call to mind to guide this visualization are uh, a tree or a mountain. And when we visualize a tree with its many branches and complexity and all of the different life forms that live at so many levels and so many layers of the tree, that's just what we can see. Underneath is a root system that is often larger than the tree and very powerful. Similar with a mountain, what we can see above is just a part of what might be below and what's below might extend right down to the mantle of the earth. And it's a wonderful metaphor for our bodies and our minds how so much of us is beyond what's visible. It's a metaphor of strength and power. And let's take several deep breaths, enjoying the mindful body. You may be wondering, should I be sitting? Should I be standing? Can I lie down? Yes, all yes. Just noticing the strength of your spine. And 
Notice your ability to breathe through what's sore. If you have aches and disability, each breath is a testament to your strength and your will. Noticing your feet planted on the floor. And thinking about what extends further down from our feet, meters and kilometers of earth and rock and water Imagine following the complexity of a root. As it grows its way through the hardest things imaginable. With patience and repetition. You may be wondering, eyes open, eyes closed? Yes, however you're comfortable. Um, with eyes closed, we can generally focus more on any particular anchor. Um, you may feel safer or um, less distracted with eyes open if you find a visual anchor. So uh, whatever works best for you. And let's move on to our second anchor, mindful listening. Let's begin by listening for sounds within our own bodies. Notice the sound of your breath. Swallowing. Any little shuffling or crackling we make as we move a little bit. You may be wondering, do I have to sit still? Not if it's a torment, because then you'll focus on the torment. If you need to adjust your shoulders or stretch a little bit, absolutely. We develop the discipline of focus in the body with practice. That's not something that comes right away. And let's just take a moment to marvel at, even though we're sitting in silence, what a busy body we have breathing, heart pumping, shuffling, everything moving and crackling. Billions and trillions of cells working together to make this happen. It's a, such a miracle. If you find that you're holding your breath, that's pretty normal. Please bring your attention back to your breathing once in a while and notice the rise and fall of the torso. Approaching this with wonder and gratitude, what a blessing it is to take an easy, free breath of clean air.
And let's stretch our mindful ears a little further outside of our own bodies. Let's listen for the sounds within our practice room. Perhaps it's a computer fan or a fridge or clock. Maybe the person next to you is shuffling a little bit. We have three concurrent anchors right now, actually four. We've started with the body. So returning to that once in a while, noticing the spine, the feet, strong and straight. Remembering our connection to earth and air. Noticing the sounds within our body the breath that keeps it all moving, and the sounds outside of our bodies. When I'm working with a large group in person, and it's been a while because of COVID, this practice might be the first time that group of people has ever experienced silence together. And that is such a wondrous moment. If it's a very busy classroom, I will hear a lot of positive positive feedback from even young children about how wonderful it was to share silence together. At this point, notice how you feel now that we're 10 minutes into our practice. Do you feel relaxed? Does it feel easy? Are you bored or hungry or itching to get on to the next thing? Are all of these things normal? Yes. Are they all welcome? You bet. We are the watcher. We are just observing what is. Getting to know ourselves, spending time with ourselves, investing time in ourselves, just like we would with any other relationship that we value. It's okay to be bored or tired or uncomfortable. Sometimes that might be the first time we notice those things and it might be an important call to action or attitude. So there's no good or bad feelings and sensations. They are all welcome and they are all being observed. Let's stretch our mindful ears out a little further. Most of us are probably in our homes right now. What do you hear outside your practice room? Maybe other people moving around your house or on the street? Maybe there's traffic and animals, sirens, or maybe silence. And as we stretch our awareness further and further outside of our bodies, we're marveling at all of the other life forms that we coexist with and their busy, important lives, just as busy as ours and as important as ours.
and what a privilege it is to respect and honor that. And let's continue to breathe deeply together. Moving between these several anchors of the body, the breath, and sound. Observing our sensations and feelings and reminding ourselves to connect to all of these anchors and all of the thoughts that arise from contemplating them with a sense of wonder and gratitude. If you need to shuffle a little or you have little ones present and they've had it, all good. Take a body break. And during your body break, observe your body. Notice how wonderful it feels to stretch and shift. At this point, I'll move on to the final anchor that we'll be covering in today's practice, and we'll be coming back to these uh, over and over. And that's the breath. And uh, when I'm working with children, I'll introduce this as our very own superpower. Our breath metabolizes a whole bunch of stress hormones. It's a wonderful anchor because we can we can control its speed and depth, but it's also involuntary. And it's an anchor that really connects us to so much other life on this planet. So let's begin our final practice by taking a big breath in. You can put your hands on your belly. And notice the rise and fall of your belly and torso as we breathe. Paying attention to any self-critical thoughts like, my belly's so big after the holidays. It's all, it's all good, it's all welcome. And just notice how with a slow inhalation through the nose, we can really fill up our torso. Take a slow breath in together. And let's hold it if you can for a count of two, four, or eight. And let's exhale slowly for double that time.
Let's try that again at your own pace. No need to worry about the counting or the numbers, but what we are looking for is a little bit of holding the breath and then a longer exhalation than inhalation. The numbers don't matter. And this time, let's visualize the mountain or tree, whichever mindful body anchor resonated more strongly with you. A sense of power without and below and around us that's much deeper and wider and bigger than ourselves. And inhaling that sense of awareness and wonder in. And exhaling. And we'll do that together a few more times in silence. If you get distracted, move on to another anchor, noticing the sounds within and without. Always returning to the breath. So if you're newer to um, meditation practice or mindful meditation, one thing you might have noticed is that we are never emptying our heads to be one with the universe. We have very specific jobs rooted in our body and they can keep us very busy. The time passes quickly and there's lots and lots to observe that we've never heard before or seen before or noticed before. And often if I'm working with even very young children, they will comment on all of the things they observed that they never knew before. And uh, my response will be, how do we learn anything about anything? We have to get out of our busy minds and pay attention to what's happening. Observing the stars, studying anything around us. There's this um, need to leave the busyness of our own subjectivity and participate deeply um, and in the moment with what's happening around us. And so that's part of uh, the tradition of mindfulness meditation. We have several jobs that keep us quite busy. Each of those jobs I refer to as an anchor. And uh, this week we've covered the body, listening and breathing. And each week we will cover a few more and mix and mingle those. If you would like more information about registering for the uh, certificate of completion that comes at the end of each six week course, please email me. And um, these podcasts and videos will be posted and uh, shared with you uh, as soon as I am able to. And please feel free to contact me anytime with any questions or interest you have. We can, um, we commonly have set intentions for uh, a practice based on what our, our colleagues are sharing. You know, I, I'd like to do a little bit of work on this, and so I'll build a guided meditation into that for our next week. So uh, please feel free to contact me with any thoughts you might have. And thank you for sharing this uh, sacred time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you again. Bye-bye.